We're taking all the oil out and we're gonna run it. We have the sandwich plate for the MR2 and we also have a new oil filter and what we are doing is we're putting that in the car because if you remember from last time, actually we never said this, but the oil sensor, which is... You're gonna wanna wait so I can scoot without interrupting. Can you be any louder? Yes. Anyway, so this oil sensor here, the uh, threads are NPT, I believe. They do not fit, uh, fit the, uh, the block of the MR2 or the adapter that it has right now. So what we did is I bought this sandwich plate because all these uh, holes, all these threads are NPT like it's supposed to be. Now we will be able to have a reading for oil pressure. But last time, uh, Blaine actually forced in the threads of this sensor. Well, you didn't really force them. You only like got like one thread on there. It started to leak a little bit of oil, and thank God I caught that right before I drove back to my house. We lifted up the car again, took that uh, the sensor out, and then we put the original sensor for the MR2. And today I received that part. Now we are able to uh, finish the oil pressure gauge deal that we're doing right now. Uh. So we got a new jack. It's gonna be max. Well, he got a new one. And but look at is, that. This is I, I so assume, much better. I assume this is CNR garage, so we got some new jacks. Yes, yeah, CNR garage. No, I meant this this garage. Oh yeah, welcome to our garage. We're probably gonna do a tour whenever we reach like 500 subs or something. Oh, lift it up just a bit. Oh, we gotta do a shake test. <laughs> I could probably sit on that. Yeah, it's good. Good. Great. All right. Now you're going in there. <laughs> if I get crushed, it was meant to be. Oh my god. Do you know this thing? Oh. Oh! Let it bleed. Did you get it on your eyes? Yep, that hurts a little bit. Oh yeah. So it's a 14 millimeter socket to get that. Oh Wait. This is kind of in the way. That's the oil feed line. I know, the one we're about to take off. Yeah. We gotta take it off from the turbo too. Oh gosh, dude. I told you, that's what I'm saying. What? Is that good? Yeah. Okay, so here's what we're doing. It's actually crazy simple. So what happens is this gets pressed up against where the original oil filter went. You know, makes a seal, super simple. It gets pressed up by this, which threads onto where this filter normally goes and adds threads for the filter. Um, we can position this while we're threading this down so it's exactly where we want it. Nice fat gasket. So that'll make a great seal and we, oops. And we tested this at the auto parts store. Uh, this fits and this makes a great seal on this as well. Uh, once it's up there, we'll choose which ones we want to use for the oil line. I'm assuming it's probably gonna be these two or, you know, we'll yeah. find out. Yeah. You take these out, these are actually tapered, which is very, very cool. Uh, the screws are tapered. So we should be able to use one of these on the original oil pressure sensor just to plug it up. We're going to take all these off and put Teflon tape on the ones we're not using and uh, put Teflon tape on the oil pressure sensor. Actually, that already has it. So yeah, it's super simple, you know, eBay parts are gonna be eBay parts, but eBay stuff is good stuff, so it's gonna be awesome. He's taking the uh, original sensor, the OEM sensor, from there, from the actual, uh, what is it called? The block? Well, we well, the, have, well, the we adapter, put an adapter and block. on it. So once he takes that off, we're gonna take the line off because we're also gonna add it on to the sandwich plate because it look a little cleaner. All right, so now we have the uh, oil line out. To do that is because we wanna install it on the oil sandwich plate here. And what we did is we replaced this adapter with the sandwich plate because this one, as you can see, it's only holding on by that right there, right there. So if it snaps, it's over. All right, oil sandwich plates going in. Take it's in. actually like crazy easy. That's beautiful. I know. Yeah, don't tie it too much. I don't want threads that are stripped. <laughs> Strippers. There you go. No more oil leaks for this bad boy. Well. 
we need a new oil return. We'll we'll do a video on that. Ah, sure. We gotta put Teflon on these two. And I can't see a thing. Now I can. There you go. Well, I had to tighten it by hand first. So now, looking real mint, is going to tighten the, uh, what do you call that? Uh, the extender, I guess? I, yeah, let's call it that. Once he's done with that, he's going to put the oil filter on. And we're heading to, um, and then we're heading to Wally World to get some oil. Wally World. Dude, holy... That looks really mint. Correct. That looks way better than that stupid adapter that I had. Yeah. It is. And you know what? You're gonna think I'm retarded for this, but that adapter, I mean the uh, the sandwich plate was cheaper than the adapter. Are you freaking serious? No, that was twenty five dollars, and the shipping was uh, thirteen dollars. That was twenty five dollars free shipping. Wow. <laughs> so guys, lesson learned. Do your research. A yeah. Little don't be like me and rush everything. Because then you will regret your decisions by buying a, uh, what, $25, $37 part. That'll be it for this video. If you like, go ahead and give us a like. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe for more. And definitely look for, for more shit from the Celica and Angie, which is the uh, Toyota MR2 1989. We haven't really worked much on it, but we will bring some content for that. So I'll see you guys on the next time.